Hi, and welcome to C Programming Skills Using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. So here we're going to continue to look at main.c. We're going to look at part three in this introduction. So let's jump right into it. So here's our same project that we've been using from the previous videos. And, and remember, you should be following along everything I do, you should also do. And for this topic, I want to focus on main. Main is called a function. And in fact, a function contains code. In fact, notice you can put your cursor right here on line number three. Notice how you can expand it. Either you see the plus or the minus. So the minus, if you click on minus, it, it contracts it and then expands it. And what you're saying is the code that's between the open and closing curly brace, that is basically the code. And in fact, you as a software developer are going to write many, many functions. You'll write many, many functions. And you'll also call functions that other people have written. So for example, printf, which we'll look at in another video, it stands for print formatted. That's one of the functions you'll, you'll use. Now, the thing about a C program, you have to have a main function. That's the one function you must have. Just to demonstrate, let's suppose I put an X in front of that. So instead of it saying um, main, I've put an X in front of it. And I'll click on run to build my code. And I want you to notice we've got an error that we haven't seen before. We, we've certainly seen errors, but the errors we saw previously were syntax errors. In fact, let me go ahead and create a syntax error. I'll remove that hash mark, click on run. And notice this is a syntax error. A syntax error says as the compiler is compiling your code, it finds something that's wrong with the syntax, that is wrong with how you typed it in, and it stops. It says, hey, you have an error. But notice the error we're getting here when I click on run. It's not a syntax error. It's not showing us a line number um, where the, the problem was. Instead, it's, it's seeing some very strange stuff here, an error from the linker, the linker. Now, we've not heard or, or seen this term before, but the linker links or combines, puts together your code. It's the last step before your code is ready to run. And notice when it was trying to do that, it says it was found an undefined reference to main. That is, it was looking for a main, but it couldn't find it. Super important point. It says you have to have a main function. Why? Because that, when you click on run, when it compiles your code and when it links it, it all starts running at main. So you'll always have this function called main. Now, that's the entry point. And by the way, just ignore this void. It basically says nothing is coming into the function. That's what void stands for. We'll say much more about that. But right now, just want you to focus on, on main um, as the name of the function. And um, by the way, it also says this returns an integer. And we'll talk more about integers. So, so don't worry about it right now. Just think about you've got to have a function called main. Let's look at another function, printf. Printf stands for print formatted. And I want to show you something here. If I comment out, right, the two forward slashes comments out this line and I click on run, notice what we get now is a warning. And the warning is saying, hey, this print F, it's implicitly declared. Now again, don't worry about the details. There's much more to be say to be said about this. But the compiler is saying, I'm giving you a warning because I'm not quite sure what this function does. But I'll make some assumptions and go ahead and try to build and run. Of course it did, and it worked as we expected here. However, if I go back and uncomment this, and then click on run, 
the warning goes away. And so that tells you there's something inside of here, which we'll also cover in more detail, but there's something inside of here that tells the compiler about this. In fact, let me go ahead and put an X in front of printf. And I'll click on Run. Ah, look at the error we're getting here. First, we get a warning. It says, I'm warning you, this thing called X printf, it's implicitly declared. That is, nobody explicitly declared it. So I'm just going to make some assumptions. But guess what? When it came down to the linker, and remember, I said the linker, links all your code together, combines your code together. The linker said, whoa, I don't see anything called xprintf. I don't see that. And so our program never built. So if I go and remove the x and click on run, at this point, of course, our code is back together uh, as, as we expected it. So when you think about the videos we've seen so far, we've seen where you have, for example, a missing semicolon, and you click on run, and you have an error that is a syntax error. That's one of the errors we've learned, a syntax error. We've also seen, I'll comment this out, we've seen you can have warnings, but even though you have a warning, your code can still run. And lastly, We've seen you can have warnings, but your code does not run because the linker cannot combine all the different pieces. So three, three, three different uh, error warning and a linker error to be aware of. And, and why do I start these videos going through all these errors? Because you're going to see them throughout your career of learning how to write C code, both as a beginner and even every day as I write C code, I still see errors. Of course, not as many, uh, and they're typically just typos now that I've done this so many for so many years. However, these are the types of errors you will see. Now remember, you should be following along, trying all of this just like I'm doing, and that way you'll have the hands-on experience of seeing how these errors and warnings occur, and also how to fix them. So thank you for making it this far. Once again, another video down. And there's a lot more to come. So I'll see you in the next video. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.